Bury up on the soul A maniac bird and brush his tongue cold It's a terrible a woman, yes you're thinking Cause she's bound in chains, I'm bound in chains But one of the security men told me that you wanted to see me. Okay, I am sorry that I left my duty post for a few seconds. You see, I just went to have a smoke. Am I allowed that, you know? Why don't you shut your dirty trap? Oh, I have reason here, shut it up for you. Turn around and tell me what the heck you think you're doing there. Uh, um, Sarufus? I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how it happened. Ah, you seem to be filled with excuses just a moment ago. Have you now lost your tongue? No, not at all. It's just that. Um, I don't know when it happened. I, I don't. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's the devil. The devil, huh? It's the devil. Now you tell me. So, who are you referring to here as a devil? You or your thieving friend? You increased his stick and shared it with him, did you not? Yeah, he, he, he's the devil. He lured me into it. Yes, he's the devil. I love you to return. I beg to have a different opinion. Have you forgotten this is not the first time you'll be caught cheating here? Stealing at my tables? I won't be the last time, did I not? But you didn't listen. You value greed better than your miserable life. And I'll tell you what, Joe. I am going to make the rest of that miserable life much more miserable for you. No. Sarufus, don't do that. Please. I have a daughter at home. She has no one else. Only me. Joe, you should have thought of your daughter before stealing from me. Bizo, take this over. Old fool and lock him up in the cellar there. Hmm, Sir, Sir Rufus, I've been working for you for a long time. I, I'm okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. So, I'm doing you a favor, giving you a job, and that's because we're made in England. And see what you have done with your life. A miserable life because of your ineptitude. Now, oh, take this fool out of my face. Oh, lock him up in the hole himself. Sir Rufus, don't do this. Don't take it away. Thank you so much, man. You are welcome. Over to... You know, marry me. <laughs> marry you? <laughs> but you do not have any money. I mean, how are we gonna cope? Here's the deal. Marry me when I get money so that you don't have any cause to complain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. Okay, yes. I will marry you. 
with the power bestowed on me as a servant of God, I declare you man and wife. Now you may kiss the bride. I was so embarrassed. I was daydreaming. Hmm, daydreaming about what? I was daydreaming about us. Mm. And how you proposed to me in a very, very romantic and adorable way. And we'll get married in church. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what I think? I think you want me to propose to you. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, let me see. You've have proposed to me for like um, 150 times. Huh? Of course. Are you sure? Yes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, it means I have to, you know, stick to my promise and make you my woman. Oh, yeah, baby, you have to go swear. We're not in a hurry, are we? Mm -hmm. so. Holy smokes! It's 10.30 p.m. Yeah, what, oh. about, what about 10.30? Papa will send me back from work. I know how he gets if he doesn't see me when I'm home. You know what, eh? I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I grab you from him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Until then, okay? Mm. But right now, I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> I have to go. Let me go in. Let me go in. Let me go in. Cause she's bound in chains, I'm bound in chains Oh, someone says it's not my new way Another one says I must be joking What would you do if you were in my shoes? Take the pain and live in shame Reach out your Exactly. You know, initially I thought it was one of those days when he wanted to stay over at the hotel and work all night. 
but it was still strange because he didn't even call me. And this is 8 a.m. and he's not back. That's strange. Yeah. Michael, I am worried sick. I keep imagining there's something wrong with what happened to him. What if he got drunk as usual and got hit by a car and or something worse happened to him, Michael? Dad is a big man. He can take care of himself. I'm sure nothing bad has happened Michael, to him. Michael, if he's a big man, why is he not back yet? Why are his phones not going through? Why is he putting me through so much pressure? Listen, listen. Have you even tried calling his girlfriend? You know, call, what's that girl's name again? Oh, what's that lady's name again? Michael, I thought about that possibility too, but... Papa broke up with her last week. So there's no way he would go there. They broke up last week? Your papa gets game. Oh. He don't change the ladies left, right? Oh, Michael, come on. Stop it now. Stop it. It's not time for jokes, okay? I'm worried, yeah, you're joking. What are we going to do? You know, let's go to the hotel, yeah? And let's actually find out whether he left the place last night and then we can pick it up from there. Good afternoon, sir. May I be of service? Oh, yes, we are look actually looking for a gentleman, Pajo. He's the manager here. Do you know his whereabouts? Oh, Pajo. I know him, sir. But, sir, who are you to him, if I may ask? Well, um, this is the daughter and, um, I oh, never mind. He didn't make it home last night and we are just wondering if he was okay. Well, you can say that, sort of. Sorry, what do you mean by sort of? Well, madam, let's just say Pajo got into trouble last night. The chairman detained him. But then he left an instruction that he should be notified if anyone comes looking for him. Hello, sir. There are two people here asking after Pachu. I should send them straight to you. All right, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please, the chairman would like to see you in his office. Yes, good day. And you are? So my name is Rose. I'm um, Pajo's daughter. I see. And you? Are you his son? Oh, no, no. Michael is my fiancé. Uh-huh. Well, I know you're here concerning your father. Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, you see, Pajo did not come back home last night. And that really got me worried. Because it has never happened before. I know that sometimes he works overnight, but he calls to inform me about it. But this one, he did not call. I have tried his phone severally, but it's not going through. So um, we just thought that we should come so that we we'll know if anybody saw him leaving with anybody or I don't know, anything. But we just want to know where my father is. Well, young lady, nothing happened to your father except for the fact that he was caught stealing at the tables. Jesus! And later sharing the loot with his friend. I, I can't do this kind of thing. But sir, are you sure? Are you sure that someone is not, is not trying to, to tarnish Papa's image in your, your organization? Well, that could have been very well be the case. Except for the fact that your father has no image to tarnish. See, it wouldn't be the first time he was caught stealing at the tables. Besides, I don't need anyone to tell me tales here because I have security cameras all over the hotels. So you see, I know what goes on everywhere. See? Well, sir, we've heard all that you're saying and we really can't do much owing to the incriminating evidence that you have, but... If I may ask, how much did he really steal so that um, me and my fiancé can 
probably come up with that money. You would like to know how much your would-be father-in-law stole from me. Well, if I sum up all the three occasions he's been cut, it comes up to about 550,000. Hey! Jesus Christ! Well, my dear, that is how much your thieving father had stolen from me. 550,000 naira! Do you have my money now, young man? No, sir, no, sir. No, sir. I don't have that kind of money anywhere, but you know, I'll promise to, to do something about it and then... Young man, I have no patience for such shallow promises, okay? Please, have mercy on my father. I'm sure he did not mean to steal all that money from me. I'm certain that he would have a good explanation to why that happened. Father very well. He's not a thief. I'm sorry. It's either my money comes back to me or your father gets slammed in jail for as long as I can wiggle out of the authorities. Look, sir. My father is an old man. He's not in the best of health. Putting him in jail will kill him. He would not be able to survive it. Please, sir, forgive us. Please, forgive him. See, young lady, you're beautiful and all, but see, having pity on you cannot bring back my money. So you see, it's either my money comes out or that old fool still in jail for a very long time. Okay, sir, we, we've heard what you're saying, but uh, can we at least just see him to know if he's okay, please? You would like to see him? Please. Yes, sir. Very well. Razor. Take them to the old fool by the holding cell. You know, the most interesting aspect of this all is the hotel owner has accused Papa of stealing a large sum of money, which Papa has refuted. Um, wait. If what Rose's father is claiming is the truth, that means the boss is lying against him. The question is, why will he do that? My guy, me, I don't know. I don't know. Come and search me, I don't know. This whole thing, I don't even understand. Probably Papa himself is lying. Come on, my girl, how can you say that? Look, Papa can be everything in the world, but he is not a liar. Very certain that Papa is telling the truth. So why did the hotel owner say that Papa stole the money? Why? Like, like how would I know? How would I know? All I know is that Sarufus is definitely not telling the truth. I mean, come on, if Papa had stolen such an amount from Sarufus as he alleged, believe me, I would have seen the evidence somehow. Well, um, guys, there's no use hitting your head against the wall over this. I've actually heard a little about how cunning and tricky that Sarufus can be. And if the stories about him are true, I'm sure sooner or later we'll get to know what he has up his sleeves. I really don't know what that man is bringing, but whatever be the case, I just don't like the sight of him. It's just disgusting. Ah.
Ah. Come on in, Joe. So tell me, how did you enjoy your stay in the cell? I've seen better accommodations. <laughs> I see you still got some spunk left in you. So, have you thought of how you're going to pay me the money you owe me? Sarufus? I beg, show some kindness to a weak old man. I never stole such amount of money you claim that I did. Joe, now that would be your word against mine, isn't it? And are you saying that I'm lying? No, 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 no. It's just that uh, oh, I don't understand. But why are you doing this to me? Why? I just uh, cheated on the table just to make some change. I didn't embezzle your money. Joe, no one steals from me, even just a little change, and get away with it. Nobody. And for that, I will make your life very miserable. Very, very miserable. Your faith will be worse off dead. But, sir, what did I do wrong? I mean, uh, okay, okay, if it's the money, I've not touched a dime out of it. You can ask the security. They have all of it. Shut up! Just shut up! Joe, a young lady came to my office yesterday. A very pretty one. I never knew you had such a, a fine specimen of a woman under your roof. Sir Rufus? What has my daughter got to do with this? Well, just let's say Sari Force is feeling quite charitable. And I'm willing to write off all the 550,000 of your death. But on one condition. And that is? Well, I'm quite sure you know what I'm going to say. But I'll say it anyway. Joe, your daughter is very beautiful. I like her. <laughs> I want her in exchange for my money. Never, never. My daughter is out of this. I am the one who stole your money. And I can never use Rosie. Your protection over your daughter is quite commendable. But you know, you don't have any choice these days. You know I could make both your life and your daughter's quite miserable. And you know I have the power to. That is if you refuse to grant my wishes. I can even marry her if you want. Animal. You stinking animal. <laughs> now I know why you accuse me of stealing all that money. I now know why you frame me up in order to get my daughter. You rascal. Joe. Rascal. Joe. We have known each other for a very long time. But I tell you what, I have decided to release you. I will release you so you can go and think about it very well. I trust you will make a good decision. Remember, I want that girl in exchange for my money. Now, get out. Get out! Sir Rufus? I regret my past life. If not, you won't stand here and tell me this and order me out of your office. Here you are, Papa. I know he was starving. Um, 
I... It's... Not really, Rosie. I had a bite on my way from the hotel. Mm. Are you sure, Papa? Anyway. Wow. Look at it. It is tasty. Papa, I specially cooked this food for you. You like it, though? But remember that the first thing you said when you came into this house was that you were very hungry. Really? I, I must have made a mistake. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> How come your boss released you just like that? Or did um, the both of you come to any agreement as to how you can pay him back his money? No, Rosie. Not really. Mm. So he just released it like that? Hey, Papa, the man I saw that day is a very mean and callous man. He, should, he couldn't have just let you walk away free. He claims that you owe him a lot of money which you stole from him. Um, Rosie, let's say that um, you brought me my good fortune. Yes, my daughter. Mm. You see, Rosie, it was after Sarufo saw you that, that he decided to be a little sympathetic and uh, he released me. Oh. He saw me. Well, I just thank God that you're home, Papa. Rosie, you found favor in the eyes of Sarufo and. Uh, <coughs> He promised to write off all my debts if only you will agree to marry me. Oh, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm not married. Rosie, Sarufos is not all that old as you see it. He's only looking old. Besides, uh, he has all it takes to take care of you. He has enough to compensate for the old age. Does that mean that, Papa, you are actually considering his proposal? Uh, not actually. Mm -hmm. Not I only gave it a thought. And uh, on the other hand, you will not be doing too badly if you marry him. I mean, he is capable of taking care of everything you need in life. And he has promised to write off all my debts. I see. So, this is a carrot that he is dangling on your face. Well, Papa, I am so sorry. But you will have to go back to Sir Rufus. I'm telling that your daughter refused to get married to him. That I would never, ever get married to him. For Pete's sake, Papa, I have a fiancé. And I'm not looking for anyone. Rosie. Rosie. I suppose that by forcing you being that proper boyfriend of yours. I told you never to see that good for nothing boy again. I don't even know what you see in him. Papa, I love Michael. Michael loves me. That is all that you should know. Please, Papa, please, please, don't call him good for nothing boy again. I am very sure in my heart that one day Michael will be somebody. Rosie! Rosie! Come back here! You stubborn girl! Come back! Oh, Sir Rufus! You know, that man just disgusted me. You should have seen the look on his face when we entered his office together. I could just see it all over his face and I just wanted to... Hit him in the middle of his eyeballs. He was upset. Why well, I didn't notice all that. Yeah, obviously you didn't notice. You're just too consumed with other things. It's okay, Michael. It's all right. I mean, we just have to think of something to do fast. This man has promised to write off of his debt if we can persuade me to get married to him. Jesus Christ, I did not even know how strong Papa would come on me. He has already started. You know what? I think that's the reason Sir Rufus is accusing your father of stealing that amount of money. So that he could pressurize him to do anything. 
Oh, blah, blah, blah. I feel so sorry for me. I could never marry that man. You know? Oh my god. Now, what are we going to do? Let's look for a way. You know, try and struggle so we can we can pay off the debt for ourselves. So this man can just leave us alone. We can be happy. I, I don't I don't want anything. I don't I don't want all this. You know what? I don't know what we can do right now because the chances are just too bleak. But one thing is for sure. If that man gets close to you, I'm going to beat him. Because nobody touches my woman. No, what you touch my woman? Just take a look at your face. Look, just take, take a look. Why <laughs> do you could get so angry like this? Hmm, is that love or something? <laughs> Obviously, I know. Come on. <laughs> I promise, nobody's gonna touch me. Okay? It's always gonna be me and you. Cheers. I am quite disappointed in you. Very, very. And that is putting it quite mildly. To think that after two days that I gave you expired, you still come here and tell me tales? And tell me something. Did you prefer spending the rest of your life in jail to having such a wealthy son-in-law like me? Um, uh, Sir Rufus, it's, it's not that. Then what is it? Um, um, see, I'm having a problem convincing my daughter to marry you. She has a boyfriend whom she believes that she loves so much and uh, does not yet appreciate your proposal to marry her. So, a boyfriend? That never do well thing? She prefer him to me? Well, I tell you what, Joe. Rose is your daughter. You should be able to talk to her. And she has to listen to you. Sir Rufus, it's not that simple. Well, then make it simple. Joe. And remember, I've got all it takes and the power to make your life very, very miserable. Oh, oh, okay, do, don't do that. Okay, okay. I'll convince Rosie to marry you. You do that? Yes, mm -hmm. okay. Do that, Joe. You're thinking cause she's bound in chains I'm bound in chains Oh, someone says it's not my new way Another one says I must be joking What would you do if you were in my shoes? Take the pain and live in shame Reach out your You, I never want to see a shadow near my gate. You, come on, Babun Saloon owner. But Papa, that is not fair now, Daddy. It is not fair, Papa. How could you be talking to Michael like that in front of the whole whole neighborhood? Just look at the people who are looking. If I'm embarrassing him, then let him not come back here. Leave my daughter alone. You are the reason she has not given thought to Parufos' marriage proposal. So then what is the problem? Huh? You let your employer buy you off with money now. You want to marry your daughter to a man of your age? Huh? Shut up your mouth. Shut up. 
Oibo says age is only numbers. And with that kind of money, I don't care whether I, what age he is. Papa, just listen to yourself talk, daddy. Just listen to yourself talk. Is money the only thing you care about in the whole wild world? Don't you care about my happiness? Don't you care about how I feel? Don't you care about my well-being? Rosie, Sir Rufus will take care of your well-being as well as mine. Oh, everyone, listen to me. I do not want him to take care of my well-being. I can take care of myself and go back to Sir Rufus and tell him that I would never get married to him. I would rather jump in front of a moving train and kill myself than to get married to him. Rosie! Michael, let's go. Come back here, Rosie. Come back! Okay, I see you are hell-bent on going with this miserable baba. I will tell Rufus, Sir Rufus, that you had one holding her back from accepting her marriage proposal. And after the dogs have dealt with him, he's going to sing a new tone. You will see! Jesus. Hello. Can't you look where you're going? You can't even say sorry. Hello. Oh. Who on earth was that? God. One of my neighbors, I suppose. One of your neighbors? Mm hmm. God, let me tell you something. You know, from the look on that guy's face, I could tell there is something eating that guy up. Trust me, you know I'm never wrong. Whatever it is that is eating that guy up is really bad. God, how do you know that? And you, let me advise you. You would have to stay away from neighbors like that. Especially those who go about bumping into people and not even waiting up a second to render an apology. Thank you. More than If this is how they're going to be behaving around here, then I would advise you go in there up every single thing that belongs to you and let's bounce back to the flat. Oh, now you know I you see. You still have your space. Now I see. I know that you're sick, upset over the fact that I decided to leave the nest. But get this into your brain, baby. I'm sticking to my flat, okay? Good neighbors or not? Yes. Samantha, you are so happy yes. with you that thing and you say you're sticking to your flat? Yes. My grandmaster would love to see you. Sorry, right. Let's come in. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Let me leave you. Hello, pretties. Hi. I'm fine, sorry, first. And hello, Rosie. How are you today? I was just fine a few moments ago. But no, I'm not more. Leave me alone. Uh, see, I stopped by the house and uh, your father told me you came by this way. I see. So you have gone to threaten Papa some more, haven't you? Wrong. Wrong. I actually stopped by to see you. And I was quite disappointed when your father said, um, you have gone out. I mean, see, Mr. Rufus, I don't see any point of this extraordinary niceness, Mr. Rufus. It is not necessary, okay? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Rosie. Obviously, you are still, still upset about my actions. You see, I was only trying to get my money, Rosie. So no businessman will ever love to lose any money. I know, I know. But not all businessmen will treat their workers like shit. Like don't mean nothing. Okay, okay, Rose. Okay, Rose. See, I must apologize for my actions, okay? And, um, see, how about we say, Let's go somewhere nice and quiet and talk about this. Oh my God! Don't you read the handwritings on the wall? I don't even want to be one feet close to you. Don't you see? Look, if it's about the money my father owes you, 
believe me. I will do everything in my power to get that money to the last time. So leave me alone. Please. Please. Say, so if there's one thing I have grown to love about you, is your spirit. Then you would have to wait for eternity and beyond, Mr. Rufus. Who shall say? You're thinking cause she's bound in chains I'm bound in chains Oh, someone says it's not my doing Another one says I must be joking What would you do if you were in my shoes? Take the pain and live in shame Reach out your It's a long story. And I'm not sure Michael is in the mood to tell it just now. Why didn't anyone send for me? This is not fair. Just look at how serious it is. Well, uh, Michael dissuaded me from calling you. Tell he didn't want you to panic. You know, I always want to be by you. Uh, guys, I guess I'll have to take my leave now. All right, Samantha. Um, by the way, it's a pleasure meeting you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Samantha, Bye. thank you so much. It's all right. You're welcome. It is my pleasure to help. I'm so sorry for the last time. I'm so sorry for being rude to you. 
It's okay. You have been forgiven. All you have to do now is to get well. Alright, bye. And who is she? Well, um, just some good Samaritan, but it was then time to rescue Michael. Ah, uh -huh. good Samaritan, Abby. Why don't the both of you start telling me what happened to him right now? Well, um, according to um, Michael, um, he said um, I should... You need to see what they did to Michael. And when they beat him to a bomb, they almost killed my Michael. They almost killed Michael. Well, he got what he deserved. How many times have I warned him to stay clear? But he refused to listen. I'm sure by now he has gotten the message. But how can you say that? How can you talk like this? Don't you have sympathy for Michael? But don't you have sympathy for the fact that Michael and I love each other? Don't you have sympathy for me? You are the one that has no sympathy for what I, your father, is going through. You ungrateful child. I am sure you would rather see me rot in jail than marry the man I've chosen for you. Look at you. This is the way you want to pay me back for picking you from the slot of a mother and giving you the best education. Now listen, my dear. Information. I am not your real father. <gasps> I lost my wife when I came back from England. Your mother was pregnant for another man. Just to make her responsible, I brought her in. And after she heard you, she abandoned you. <laughs> and out of sympathy, I decided to bring you in and give you the best education. And that is why when you speak, people will think that you studied in England. Mama God, you cannot say that to me. <laughs> Oh, but you cannot say that to me. You're my father. It's a lie. But it's the truth. It's the truth. You are the one that has refused to see that you are the cause of all this. If you hadn't come running over to the casino, Sir Rufus wouldn't have seen you and wanted you. And he wouldn't have framed me up just to have you. You don't care if I would end up being punished because some wealthy man wants to have you. It's just nothing after you. Instead of you to do something that will certainly come naturally to you. And of course, having a slot as a mother. You are here shedding tears for some never do well boy. <laughs> a baba! <laughs> now listen, my dear. For your information, I have collected your bright price. But you sold me out. But you sold me out. Oh, you. Oh, please. Oh, please, please. Oh, please, you cannot do this to me, please. You can. Please, but I beg of you, please. I am the only father I know. Joe. Joe. Gentlemen, invite this my friend and his lovely daughter to your custody. No, that will be enough. Sir Rufus. I know this part of your ridiculous charade with my father. But you do not have to go on making a fool of yourself again. Papa here has told me how you sold me. You, you put, you put me. Now I've guessed, now I guess that you have won. You have won. It's okay. It's okay, I will marry you. It's okay. It's okay, I'm a one less being after her. Thank you very much for letting me know who I really am. Come after all these years, but after our joy, our love that we have shared, you still tell me that you're not my father. You picked me up as worthless. How could you do this to me? 
Ako će čudi s tebi, mama. Ako će čudi s tebi. I love you. I love you like a father. This is how you pay me, ma. To sell me. So that you can get something worthy. Because I was worthless when you picked me up. Mama, you sold me to the highest bidder. Mama, you sold me to the highest bidder. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Hey girl, you've only started. Girl, don't shut up in my mouth, girl. Too bad, so it's not fair now. Hey! Stop right there. Who are you? Um, we are Rose's friend and we are here to see her. What are your names? I am Tina and she's Doris. And why are you harassing us like that? Stay there! Oh, nonsense! This much. Oh, baby, baby! Okay. Rose! Mm. Huh? You didn't tell us that you now have two hefty security men guarding the virtual. Come to think of it. Dad, did you tell us of your engagement with Sarufo? I think that we heard it from a little gossip about all day. What were you thinking? Rosie. Hmm. What's going on? And who are those half frightful looking guys out there? And come to think of it, what is this news we're hearing about your son in engagement to Sarufo? Where did you hear that from? Come on! 
I hope we weren't trying to keep it a secret. The news is all over town now. Everybody knows. Well, I guess Michael must have already heard about it then. I think it's better that way. It's just okay. Rosie. Rosie. Come on, talk to us. What's going on? For some reason engaged to be married, you should be looking more excited, not this miserable. Yes, Rose. Why are you acting like you wear blankets? If I were in your shoes, I would have been all over the moon by now. <laughs> Tina, Tina, why don't you for once breathe your tongue? Be sensitive, Tina. As you can see, the poor guy is not over the moon. Something must be wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm being so insensitive. Come on, let's tell us. What's the matter? Huh? Why are you so unhappy? Why should I be happy? How can someone with without identity be happy? Someone who has been betrayed and sold out by the man that she loves? How can I how can I be happy? Without identity? Betrayal? Come on, Rose, what are you talking about? Come. Hope this has nothing to do with Michael. As a matter of fact, Michael is the innocent one. So what? Come on, Rose. Talk to us. What is all this about? And what are those guys doing out there by the gate? <laughs> they are my security men. Sent to me by my would-be husband. I guess they are outside there guiding me against not going out to see Michael and Michael not coming to see me. Oh my god. Are things really that bad? Excuse me. Did you say bad? That depends on how you're looking at it, Doris. I think Sorrowfuss is only trying to protect his interests. And I also think that Rose should be gracious about this whole thing. It's her engagement and not fear of crying out loud. Yes, Tina. What happens to Michael? Michael? Huh? He can always go and look for his level. Come on, I've never liked that guy anyway. Hey, Rosie, you're wasting your beauty on that guy. Tina! Tina! You will never change! But you always talk like this. Thank God, Evan. Are you alright? Oh, Michael. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. I'm, I was just wondering, have you seen Rose around? Because I've been trying to reach her number and it's not going through. As a matter of fact, I even went to her house and they threw me out. Oh, they threw you out. <laughs> Those guys are Rose's bodyguards. It appears that her husband-to-be, Sir Rufus, is a very jealous man. And he doesn't want a religious attention being paid to Rose. You mean Rose is getting married? Of course! Oh, Michael, the marriage is as real as the air you breathe. Let me show you. This is a copy of an invitation card. Rose has moved on, Michael. And I advise you do the same. No, wait, give it back. Give it back to me. You know what to have one. Okay? Excuse me. So, so, it is true then, that Rose is actually getting married to that man? Pop, she's betrayed me. That girl has just betrayed me after everything that we've been through, all the love we shared. She's just changed her mind because a rich man just came crossing her path. You know what, I just feel like killing her. Easy, Michael. You 
don't have to do this to yourself. Really, women are not just worth it. Really? Oh, no, but I thought she was different, Bob. I thought she was different. I, think, I didn't think she would change at the slightest provocation. Bob, I was even ready to pay for that money that bastard claimed her father stole. I was ready to do that for her, Bob. I know you will have, Michael. But the question is, did Rose know that too? Maybe she was being pressured and coerced that she caved in. Thinking no help was in sight. Bob, even at that, she's betrayed me and she knows it. She succeeded in killing a vital part of me. My heart, she's killed it. And that knowledge is gonna hunt it down as she walks down that aisle tomorrow, Bob. I can never trust a woman again. And I'll never forgive her again, Bob. <clears throat> Easy, Michael. Never is a very long time story. Relax, bro. Last night, boss, I still thought I could do it. But I realize now that I can't. I love you too much, my girl. And I cannot throw away our love for an unknown force. Please come to the world we live in tomorrow. You still love me. Come and rescue me. I'll be waiting. Can she go without it? Oh my god. Have you ever seen a bread that a bouquet before? It's already. So we're already late. People should go. I'll join you later. And what is that you're holding? Oh. Haven't you seen a Bible before? Please excuse me.
my love. It is true that I accepted Saru first marriage proposal. But I did I did it out of despair and helplessness. As time passed, I still thought I could do it. But I realized now that I cannot. I love you too much. What? God! This world is a fool! Even sending this kind of message you can give to Michael. They help me! Ha! Huh. God. Anyway. No sense. Love my food. By the power vested on me, I declare both of you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh God, what has gotten into me? There's no point pretending. It is not food that I want to take to him. My girl, why do I burn up so much with desire for you? Why? I know you have someone else. Still, he seems to be so unhappy these days. <sighs> I could be of help to him. Yes. You're thinking cause she's bound in chains I'm bound in chains Oh, someone says it's not my doing Another one says I must be joking What would you do if you were in my shoes? Take the pain and live in shame Reach out 
Cause she's bound in chains, I'm bound in chains Oh, someone says it's not my doing Another one says I must be joking What would you do if you were in my shoes? Take the pain and live in shame Reach out your escape the, the walls of this compound without being detected? You see, my darling, I intentionally slackened the security so you can do exactly what you did. So that I can enjoy the chase. What are we talking about? <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I said I would love to be to you one day. <laughs> mm. Oh goodness, please let me go with you. Because <clears throat> I know I will enjoy the chase. The test! At the brink. The brink of the spirit. Um, Michael, seriously, I don't get what you're saying. You've been doing since I came here. What exactly is wrong with you? Uh, what's the problem? I couldn't remain sober when Rose is walking down the aisle with another man. No. That thought just kills me. So... I took two bottles of brandy to get to the point where I want to get to. What? Two bottles of brandy? Michael, are you on the suicide mission or something? Well, you could say that. You could say that. Michael, like I keep telling you this, it's not the end of the world. Rose is gone, yes, but you can still recoup. 
you can still love again given time. And how is Michael doing this morning? Fine, thank you. I don't know if you remember that I helped you clean up last night. When you got drunk. You helped me clean up? Yes. I even cleaned up this place. No, I don't remember anything. Though, I just came by to say... If you're gonna be needing anything from what happened last night. I'm so sorry I don't need anything from you and so sorry for wasting your time. Okay. Fine. Look. Guys, I'm running late. Have a nice day. I could have sworn I saw tears in her eyes. Did I do anything wrong? Well, um, you were being quite a pig just then. But Michael, you want to know what I think? Mm -hmm. Michael, I think you should thread carefully there. That girl is surely wearing her heart, mostly for you. My wife needs to assist on this upstairs. Uh, get some balm and uh, other ointments. Yes. And soothe her pain, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, yeah. Leave yes. everything she needs, okay? I will, sir. I'll yeah. do my best. Well, you do that. Yes, sir. And make sure she's calm and ready for me when I return tonight. Mm? Yes, sir. Bye bye, sir. Have a nice day. To suit your pains. Please. No. No. No, get away from me. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see anybody. I just want to wallow in my pains. Oh, you poor child. I'm so sorry. Let me see. Let me help you. Let me attend to your wounds, please. Hi, really. Really want to help me. Get me away from this man that I married, this beast. Just get me away from me. I just want to go I want to go It's of no use, my daughter. You will not get far. Sarufos is a very wicked man. He will kill both of us. Come, let me help you the only way I can. Please. Eh? Come.
up on the soul yeah. Of maniac breeding but she's stone cold So terrible a woman, yes you're thinking cause she don't know that Don't you look so beautiful lying down there? What are you doing to me? I can't seem to get enough of you I can't breathe I can't do anything else Oh, Rose, Rose. Please, please, let me give you the name of Rose. Oh, 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 Rose. Oh,
the no! decision as to what to be done to a baby involves both the mother and the father. I can't. I can't. No. I can't. Oh. Eve. You want me to tell my girl? Oh. No. No, no, no. I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm not telling. No. Look, I cannot face my girl. I cannot even look at him in the eyes and tell him about that baby he doesn't have a single idea he's made. You are not telling. No, I can't. But the guy has to know. And one of us has to do the telling. So now you choose. Who is telling? Are you telling? Or do I go tell him now? No, he, he, don't, don't do that to me. Sam? No! Now! No! You all feel like a froster. That's, that's how I'm gonna look like. I'm gonna be in that, in that this stock. Don't! Don't! Eve! Don't! 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 Shut up! You can't even do that! Don't! Don't! Alright, Michael. Now tell me why you brought me out here. I really don't know what the problem is. Maybe it's nothing after all, just forget it. Um, Michael, just tell me what it is first. And let's see if it's something or nothing. Well, it's about Samantha. Samantha? What about Samantha? Remember the morning after my drinking spree? Or actually, it started the night before. Ever since that time, she just changed towards me. She just become she just become cold, and I, I just don't know why. You mean this is about Samantha? Come on, when did you stop caring about Samantha? Oh, oh, oh! Don't, don't tell me that you suddenly got over Rose that quick. No, 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 no! That's not it, Bob. That's not it. Something must have happened that night, but I just can't place my finger on it. Something must have happened that night and that is the reason why Samantha is just becoming cold towards me. Good heavens, Michael. Do you mean that you think you and Samantha must have been together? I don't know. I mean, the night of Rose's wedding? I just don't know, Bob. I don't know. Remember I told you I had a dream, right? But after that dream, I just kept on asking myself, what if it wasn't a dream? What if what happened happened between me and Samantha? Instead of Rose or Rose, I was only I, I just can't remember. <laughs> now I see where that could present a problem. You dem it, Michael. You are in a deep shit. Exactly. Exactly the point. This freaking voice I hear telling me my life is over, telling me to make me scared. Now I'm so scared. Oh, Fancy life, yes, I'm living it. Change my world and you're changing me. I'm that monster you're making me. No, I'm so bad, I wanna be bad. Yeah, it's the love I'm feeling. Where's the love in me? Say, why you go? to see that you've decided to come out and take breeze. Actually, I'm happy that you've left yourself in post prison. What would you rather have me do, Maria? Sit and wallow in self-pity or cry for help that I know that would definitely not come? I have accepted the fact that I am married to a beast. But he would never put my life on hold. I admire your courage. You're a brave one. I'm sure that's what the master saw in you. My accursed spirit, Maria. 
I have learned to adapt and dance the tune of his tricks. That way, I'm sure he'll be happy. When the beast is certain and happy, then he will let me be. I admire your courage. You have won my loyalty. And I promise you, as long as I am here, I will do my best to see that no harm comes your way. Thank you. But I'm sorry to say that the time when I needed help and protection and someone to watch over me has come to an end. But all the same. Thanks. I appreciate. Can I get you something to drink? Maybe an iced tea? Something stronger. Something stronger. Okay. I'll be back. Hey, hey, let him be, let him be. Hey, Joe, now what is the meaning of this? I thought we both agreed that our paths would never cross again. Did we not? I want my daughter back. I want Rosie back. Give me my daughter back. I want her back. I wouldn't have agreed to your evil plot. Let me have my daughter back. You woke up a little too late. I have your daughter exactly where I want her. And, see, she's adjusting to my way of doing things. And if I may tell you, my dear friend, she is an ardent student. <laughs> what have you done to her? Sir Rufus? What have you done to my daughter? What? Nothing I did not pay you for. You <laughs> master! What? Don't you ever do that again. Do you understand me? Never. Now you get out of here and die in your guilty conscience. Or just drown in another bottle of brandy. Now, get out. Get out! What man, you heard you? You, tell Razor to see me now. Sir Rufus, come on. I'm coming back. Come on. I'm coming back. Come on, old, man. old fool. I'm coming back. Get him out. I will come back for you. I will come back for you! I will come back, son of us! It's a nagging question deep inside my head How could I believe this freaking voice I hear? Telling me my life is over, telling me to make me scared Now I'm so scared, oh Fancy light, yes I'm leaving it Change my world and you're changing me I'm that monster you're making me know I'm so bad, I wanna be bad, yeah It's the love I'm feeling Where's the love in me say? Why you go and I need of my 